Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's tip is on function debugging and using F9. This is one of the most useful tips that I'm going to give you on ExcelExperts.com, so pay attention. To find a function that needs to be debugged, you need something sufficiently complicated and confusing to look at. As a great example, I've got my formula here, which is from my should I buy, do up and sell calculator. So this is a monster formula here. And if you look at that for the first time, you won't have a clue what's going on. It's, you know, that's, it's really crazy. But what we can do is we can use F9 to break down the function call into smaller pieces. So let me show you how. First, extend the uh, formula bar so that you can see the whole function call. And then bit by bit select various pieces of the function call and press F9. So if row is less than five, sorry, if row minus five is less than something else. Okay, well let's just find out what row minus five is. Hit F9. 11. Okay, maximum length of project. Hit F9. 12. So if 11 is less than 12, well, we know that's true, but we can just double check. It is. So if true. So we now know that this is true. So it's going to be on the left hand side of the, of the if function is going to be calculated, not the right hand side. OK, that's useful. But the right hand side is, is just zero in this case here. A twelfth of annual maintenance times house price, well, that's how much you spend on your house every year, so per month, monthly, I'll hit F9. So I'm spending 500 on my house in, in maintenance a year. Mortgage interest rate times monthly, sorry, mortgage amount, I'm going to hit F9. All right, well, I'll just remove a few of those characters there, renovation budget over maximum length of project, boom, get rid of that. So bit by bit, I'm just breaking this down. So if true, then minus 500, minus that, minus that. So we got three negative numbers here, plus if row minus four, F9, 12 equals 12. So if 12 equals 12, well, yes, it does. We've got a selling cost, so cost of selling is that, plus that, minus that. Okay, so what we, we've broken this function call down using F9. And we can even go further than that. Every single statement within this we can highlight and press F9. F9 evaluates what you've highlighted. So... I can highlight that. So if true minus that plus if true that. So we've got a negative number plus a positive number. So this can definitely go a long way in helping to debug a large function call. I hope that helps. You've been listening to excelexperts.com.